Your video lecture tonight is about for loop basics. So let's just review what a for loop is. Since count controlled loops that iterate over a range of integer values are very common, a for loop was arranged, so it's a shortcut to how to do just this very common type of loop. A for loop is a definite loop. It is count controlled and the counter variable is built in, its initialization is built in, and also incrementing the counter is built in. So here's your example of a while loop and your example of a for loop. You can see a while loop has two less lines because the initializing and the incrementing is built into the for loop. So you don't have to do it. So let's just review the parts of our for loop. So what is our control variable? Okay, so we have count. What's our starting value? It's going to be the first number. Our ending value is that second number. And then our step value will be the third number. Okay, now notice that I have count plus equals one. It's commented out because you don't have to have an increment in your for loop. So you don't want to include it even at all. Okay, so let's take a look at some more examples. This loop starts at zero. So you can see I just have one value, one argument here in this function. And it's just my ending value plus one because I want to include the ending value. I'm going to start at zero, and I'm going to go all the way up to the ending value. So if my ending value is five, I'm going to go zero, one, two, three, four, five. Let's take a look at loop two. Now this time I have a starting value of one, and my ending value is end value plus one. So if I had five again, I'd start at one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, loop three doesn't include the ending value because I just have it right here. So if my ending value is five again, I'm going to start at one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And this loop, number four, it counts by two. So my ending value, let's say I'm going to have five again. I'm going to start at one. I'm going to go up to and including five, but let's just see. I'm going to count by two. So I'm going to start at one. I'm going to go to three. And I'm going to go to five. So this loop will only run three times. Okay, so just remember what the parts of a for loop are. We've got our control variable. It's always going to be what I put here. It can be count, I, N, C, whatever. But this is your control variable. Your starting value, your ending value, and your step value. Now you don't have to have a starting value if you only want the ending value. But if I am going to include a step value, you have to include a starting value too, because the step value has to be the third number. Okay, now let's just do some practice. Let's see what's actually going to happen. What are going to be the values of count? So here I have for count in range 5. So count, it does not specify an in a starting value, so it's going to start at 0. And it's going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4. Is it going to include 5? Nope. It's never going to include this last value. So count is just going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's take a look at this one. This is only slightly different because here I've got a starting value at 1. So I'm going to start at 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to stop. Remember, I'm not going to include this last value. Now this one, I'm going to start at 1. I'm going to go to 10. I'm going to count by 2. So let's see what happens. I'm going to start at 1, and I'm going to skip 2. I'm going to go to 3. I'm going to go to 5. 7, 9. Now, am I actually going to get to 10? Remember, I'm not going to reach this value. So, I'm going to stop right there. And this loop would go 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Let's take a look at a few more examples. Here's going to be one with a negative step. So, I'm going to start at 5. And I'm going to go down by 1 each time. So, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, am I going to go to 0? Nope, I'm always going to stop one before. So this is how many times the loop will go. Okay, I'll start at the next one. I'm going to start at zero, and I'm going to count by threes. So I've got zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Am I going to get to fifteen? Nope. So I'm just going to go to twelve. So it's a little tricky. I have to kind of get used to this a little bit, but you're not going to include this last value, so I'm going to stop right there. 
Now for this last one, I'm going to start at 10 again. I'm going to go down by 2's. So I'm going to go to 8, and then 6, and then 4, and then 2, and then I'm not going to reach 1. So that's how far this loop is going to go. So I hope this gave you some good practice on working with for loops.